Hello everyone, this is Rugio Dulas back with another video. Uh, this time I'm doing a, a deck profile on uh, the Ecti slash Egyptian God Tier Elements uh, Horus Ishizu deck. Not so much Ishizu anymore since it has like a, two Ishizu cards. Uh, uh, this time I, I managed to... I came in third place at a small locals, you guys. It's been a while since I last uploaded this deck. I really like this deck. Uh, probably not the best deck to play... In this format right now but uh, again this is the the one deck that i really i really wanted to like win uh win as much as possible it came in third place once again it was at a small local so again it's, it's not much but something is something and uh it was four rounds of swiss i out of those four rounds i managed to win three i lost to uh, horus uh orcus or orcus horus i don't know uh if that's correct uh i think it's uh, it's either uh doesn't matter the order but I did win against uh, Pure Snake Eyes, which is the best deck in the format alongside Fire King. But Fire King was not did not face Fire King in this tournament. But uh, I defeat I managed to defeat Pure Snake Eyes in the first round, no less. Uh, I also uh, won against uh, went up against Red Dragon Archfiend, and coincidentally enough, Fluanderies, the uh, best deck I have in uh, I post a lot in this channel. All right, guys, let's get onto the deck profiles. So it's been a while since I last uploaded this deck. I think it's been a few months. So there have been a couple of changes here and there, but let's get right into it. For those of you who love Tier Elements, uh, the Horus Engine, and uh, the God Cards, let's get right into it. So it's a 42-card build. So uh, I'm only playing uh, one copy of Obelisk and one copy of Slifer. I am not maxing out on the God Cards. I'm only playing uh, two. Obelisk and, Sli and Slifer, I decided these are the best two as of right now. Um, I did not see Slifer, I did manage to summon Obelisk, uh, courtesy of the uh, cards that, that are in the main deck. I was running a very small package of the God cards, but uh, yeah, uh, one of each. I'm a firm believer of just playing one uh, individual of the God cards. I am not playing the Wind Dragon of Ra in this build. Uh, I want to test out at least minimum two god cards because one god card in the in the main deck is just it just doesn't work for me. But again, I did try the best that I could. Did manage to summon Obelisk and managed to win one of the games with Obelisk for that matter. But yeah, two of the three Egyptian god cards. Let's put them on the side over here. Then uh, to get the god cards out, we are playing two copies of the Guardian Slime because this card on the field is uh, you contact fusion it uh, away for. The Egyptian God Slime, as you saw earlier in, in this video, it was right here. So, I am playing two. This card is also good because it can search for a certain spell card that I'm main decking, that, which is good for, like, uh, if you're going first, install your opponent from, uh, from uh, OT Can You. But I am playing two. I think, I truly believe two is the best ratio. On how to get this card out, more on that very soon. If you, if you manage to... If in previous uh, months you've seen... What, uh, what the deck does and how does it work. We are playing one each of the Tier Element monsters that are limited, aka Shiren, Mirli, and Havnus. You get these cards into the graveyard, you fusion summon, use the uh, the Egyptian God Slime, to, uh, I mean Guardian Slime, to bring out the Egyptian God Slime with a combination of any of uh, any of these, uh, any of one of these three with the, the, the Guardian Slime, and there's your Egyptian God Slime. So one of each, because they are limited, sadly. This was the, the best deck in the in the game like a year and a half ago, so for good reason these cards are limited. Then uh, we are playing three copies of Tierleman Kashtira, the best mill card in this deck, uh, generically for the archetype, of course. Like, uh, you special summon this card, you mill three, goes to the graveyard via card effect, you uh, mill two more cards, and we have to max out on this card. This card is extremely important for the deck. To function properly so we're maxing out on three we are playing two copies of mr tier Lament's, uh rhino hard i could play three but for this variant slash version i think two is is good enough you can either play two or three uh i played three before i'm almost i'm always between two or three i never play one yeah but i think two worked out well for this tournament until further notice and then the only two ishizu cards we play in this in this build, because uh, the other two are banned. Keldo and Mudora, aka the Shufflers, and they are limited. 
to one so for good reason and but we are playing them because they are a, a key part of our strategy still very decent cards and now we're and now we're going into uh the remaining monsters in the deck this is a little uh the deck can break with this many cards but again uh it's part of it's uh it's you it's part of the game uh we do what we love so i am maxing out on Emsetti, aka the horrors engine slash package this is the one card that, like, uh, it's not a break if you see it opening hand going first or second. But, yeah, triple and setty. You have to max out on this card. You need to get a certain spell, continuous spell in this deck. But more on that very soon. Uh, you've seen, I think you've seen a couple of deck profiles on this deck before. So, you know about the Horus Engine. You know what this deck does. Uh, coincidentally enough, we, love to, we lost to a Horus Orcus, which I mentioned earlier. Or Orcus or Horus. So, another... Uh, Horus uh, variant. That's the only match we lost to in this tournament. And we are playing one of the Horus monsters. One of each. Only one of each because these are the real bricks of the deck. Not in uh, excluding the god cards, but yeah, uh, we are uh, playing one of each. Uh, normally when it comes to this deck, uh, they just play uh, Triple and Seti and the one happy. I opted to play all four. I really love all four. Again, when the horse cards came out, I wanted to try any in any way whatsoever to at least uh, max out on these cards. But uh, unfortunately, like the other three in your hand, they are bricks. So one of each, like one one for each, is more than enough. Again, you summon the, all the horse monsters going second. You you you're most likely gonna win the duel unless your opponent disrupts you. And the final monster for this build is the uh, Vision Resonator. Ah, oh, come here. Uh uh this card's purpose you'll see very soon and this is the final monster in the main deck so now let's go on to the spells so for the spells we are playing one copy of monster reborn yes the lost art here it is in all its glory i do own a copy of this card i believe i showed it in the channel before months ago yeah monster reborn is limited for good reason and we are playing the God cards, so we have to go uh, along. So Monster Reborn has got to go alongside the God cards. It is searchable. Now, continuing on with the spells, this uh, one copy of the True Sun God. Again, I'm not playing the Winged Dragon of Rob, but this card can search for the Guardian Slime. Also, if you activate it, uh, you, and if you go first, and if this card's still around, your opponent cannot attack your monsters. Uh, monsters that are special summon that uh, either player special summons have to wait one turn before attacking. So this card. It's also like a stall card, so if your opponent uh, brings... Uh, again, you go first, you pitch the Guardian Slime, searches for this. This on on activation searches for the Guardian Slime because this card searches for for the Winged Dragon, of, for any card with Winged Dragon of Ra in its name. So again, it's very good. It's like a small little Egyptian God card package to prevent our opponent from OTKing us. Only one, of course. And then we, we are playing, maxing out on the card that Mseti searches for, which is the King Sarcophagus. You have to play three or minimum two uh, because uh, you need this card in order to get your horse cards back. And uh, we are playing one copy of the Field Spell, aka Walls of the Imperial Tomb. So the last time I played the deck, I don't believe I had this card. This is the new uh, support card. This is their, uh, the Horus Field Spell. Long story short, this card searches for Emsetti, and Emsetti searches for King Sarcophagus. In this format, uh, there's a call, uh, Drill and Logbird, which is a pow very powerful hand trap. You do this and and your opponent rolling locks versus you. It's kind of bad, but uh, I would really like to see the uh, again the king sarcophagus and Mseti all the more faster. So at least minimum one copy of the field spell. It's like it's okay. Also, as if you have this, you can special summon your horse monsters from the graveyard just like king sarcophagus. And uh, that's for the first five spells. Let's move on. Oh, and monster reborn. Can't forget about that. One copy of the field spell, as per usual for for my build. Uh, this is the the uh, Terrellman's Field Spell, Primeval Planet, Pearl of Rhino. Uh, a lot of people uh, max out on this card. I only play one. I, li I like to have that OCG Master Duel mentality where uh, if it's limited, well, I'm going to play it as a one-up. Plus, again, you're not playing Terrellman's Pure. Uh, you have the Horus Engine. You have an Egyptian God you have, You're trying to play the Egyptian God card. So one planet of the of the uh, Terrellman's Field Spell, a.k.a. Pl Primeval Planet, Pearl of Rhino, is fine. And speaking of spells, we are playing two copies of uh, more Tillman's cards, aka Tillman's Scream, which is the the one that mills three cards from the top of your deck if you control a Tillman's monster. I could play. Uh, we're, we're playing two. I could play 
three, but I feel like with a three, it kind of breaks more often than not. Plus, uh, you want to resolve this card's other effect, which searches for the trap card, but you don't want to have too many, uh, send too many to the graveyard. So I think two is fine. Maybe you could bump it up to three, but two is doing the, the job pretty decently. Next up, we're playing a copy of Crimson Gaia. So this spell card goes together with the uh, Vision Resonator I showed you earlier. This card on activation searches for the re Vision Resonator from the hand or graveyard. And Vision Resonator, when sent to the graveyard in any way whatsoever, will search for this. So they go along together. It's a combo line to get into a certain extra deck monster. More on that a bit later. But yeah, one copy of Crimson Gaia and one Vision Resonator. Go th again, they go hand in hand for combo plays. More on that a bit later, as I said. One copy of Foolish Burial Goods. This card um, was so useful in today's tournament. Uh, I've resolved this a lot of times. It's so good. It can send any spell or trap card from your deck to the graveyard. Hard once per turn. Uh, but again, this card did its job, and I don't regret using it. I might consider bumping this card up to two in the future, but uh, as a one-off, it's working wonders right now. And the final spell cards in the deck. We are playing two copies of Triple Tactics Talon. Uh, I was debating on whether to main deck one or side deck the other, not even main decking these at all, but I main deck and I, and I think it was it was worth it. There was a moment where I went first, my opponent hand trapped me, I resolved this, and I managed to do full combo. Uh, this is one of those cards that unless your deck is like... Uh, so I use this card in, in my, my Fluandry's deck. As a one-off, it's perfect. In this deck, uh, I think you definitely have to play it as a two-off or may maybe even max out as a three-off, but... I'm playing it at two. I think I'll continue to have this card in the main in the main deck at two copies. Yeah, it it, it did uh, just like Foolish Burial Goods. It did it. It did its job right for this tournament. Now we move on to the traps. I believe there's like eight trap cards left. So one copy of the Revived Sky God. This card special summons Lifer from the graveyard, and you can banish it to search for Monster Reborn. One copy of Soul Energy Max. This is the trap card that lets us normal summon Obelisk at any point given time during our, our either player's main phase one or battle phase. One of each. And we are playing one copy of Transaction Rollback, which is uh, this trap card. Banish it from Grave as Cost. Target a trap card and copy its effects. So this card is used... Uh, more on this in a few seconds, but mainly it's used to copy this card's effect and Special Summon Slifer from the Graveyard, in case you don't have this set up. Then one copy of Ghost Meets Girl, a the Mayakashi... Uh, basic, long story short, Mayakashi trap card. So this card, you use Transaction Rollback, you target this, and... Basically, uh, if you go first and neither player basically can special summon monsters for the turn. If you Basically, if you got your board set up, you activate Transaction Robot and target this. You might win the duel next turn. It did came up once. Uh, my opponent, uh, it was it was against the opponent who beat me, the, the Horus Orcus player. So he did manage to summon the Orcus from the graveyard. So unfortunately, this card does not cover the graveyard. covers main deck, hand and uh extra but it does not cover the graveyard so it also doesn't cover normal summon so then two copies of needle bug nest uh this trap card uh, you activate it you mill the top five cards of your deck which again you're playing chairman so you want to mill as much as possible and again in conjunction with uh, transaction rollback you can do it again target it and pay half your life points for transaction rollback and mill five more cards and the last two cards let me move these guys out of the way come here uh. The Trivikarma, which you banish it, and you search for any Vice of Star Frost spell or trap. So you can search for the Chirlaments trap, trap the Chirlaments uh, Scream spell card, and the even the Field spell, because this Field spell has the Vice of Star Frost in its name. And the final... Oh, my apologies. Oh, my goodness. And the final trap card, Chirlaments Soliac. And so, yeah, this is the... The Continuous Trap, it's like the Infinite Impermanence. Uh, if you have control of Chirlaments Monster, you target a monster your opponent controls and negate their effects. Uh, yeah, as a one-off only. If it's sent to the graveyard via card effect, you can search for any Chirlaments Monster. And that's it for the main deck, 42-card deck. Now let's go on to the extra deck. Not much has changed since our, since uh, the last few months. So it's, again, most more so about the God, about the car, God card, so... Two copies of Egyptian God Slime. Again, you bring the, this out with Guardian Slime or any of the Tier Elements names. Mud, one Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Uh, protects in all your monsters from targeting effects. If you, and the Quick Effect, it can, it can change its attributes. So it's, it's a very great card to use. 
Garura, uh, again, a generic card. You use two of the tier elements monsters. You summon this out. Uh, you draw a card if he's sent to the graveyard. Pertipul and Dragostapalia, more or less in the same way. Again, you summon it out in the grind game uh, as an infinite impermanence effect as long as it's on the field. Plus, it's a pretty beefy monster. And Chitlamon's Kaleido Hard. Uh, again, they're uh, one of the Chitlamon's Fusion. I don't play Rule Kalos. Uh, you have to play King of the Swamp or some variant in order to bring out Rule Kalos since the Chitlamon's Kalos is banned. But uh, this has a one off, it's perfect. It does the job. The zombie vampire, uh, you summon this uh, by get by uh, exceeding two horrors monsters and then effect to mill four. You special summon a monster, you trigger your effects. You can take one of your opponent's monsters. This card is nuts. It'll always be nuts in this deck as long as the horrors cards exist. The Bahamut Shard slash Tote Package, this came a lot in handy in this tournament. I can't uh, multiple times. This was very useful. Dugaris, this card was also very useful. There were moments where I resolved it, there were moments where I did not resolve it, but it was still very useful nonetheless. I managed to make this card with minimal effort uh, throughout the tournament on multiple occasions. <coughs> I prefer Dugaris uh, instead of um, Abyss Dweller right now, because it, it, again, the, that gives you more resources. Abyss Dweller is great, but I really prefer Dugaris. And the final five cards, SP Little Knight and IP Mascarina. If you've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh the last few months, you know what the uh, the last few years for this one and the last few months for this one, you know what these cards do. Link someone in your opponent's turn. And this is the best Link 2 monster in the game right now. Best card, banish on summon. It banishes a card and then it tanks itself out. Your opponent tries to do anything. Uh, one copy of Barricade Board Blocker to um, Discard on summon, discard a card, and add any continuous spell or field spell from your graveyard to your hand during the end phase. Very useful. It also has a continuous effect where you can protect your field spells and continuous spells from being destroyed by card effects. So, protects the protects tier element, the Horus field spell, and the uh, King Sarcophagus from being destroyed. Also, the True Sun God. One Barone, and again, uh, back to the Vision, Vision Resonator and the uh, Crimson Gaia. You use those two cards. And you br bring out Imseti, which is the uh, dark uh, Horus monster. You summon this, and it's a one-card Barone, basically. And again, this card is like a staple in the extra deck. It's a very powerful end level 10 synchro monster, very generic. And final card in the extra deck, one copy of Topologic Bomber Dragon. Th this did not came up. Uh, I had a plan slash idea with this card, but it never came up. I may swap him out. Uh, he's still a very powerful Link 4 monster, so there's that. And for the side deck, so... Again, it's a god card more so heavy than anything else. So one copy of the uh, Sphere Mode. I used a side deck too. There was a moment uh, I was playtesting with the deck a couple of uh, weeks slash also months ago. Uh, I opened two going second. I, I did not like it. So I cut this card back to one. In the past, like a few years ago, I uh, in, the, in the time I've been playing this deck, uh, I've been playing one or two in the mainer side. I think one is more than enough. Plus, you can search this card off of True Sun God if it doesn't get negated. So, uh, second copy of the uh, Walls of the Imperial Tomb, aka the Horus Field Spell, just in case. We are side decking the uh, Horus Boss Monster, aka Horus the Black Flame Deity. Um, unfortunately, this this card is not as good as the other Horus cards. It, I mean, it can be if you have the Field Spell and if you go second, or King Sarcophagus and you go second. This card can be pretty brutal and nuts but again we side deck it we don't want uh him in our opening hand going uh first and interrupting our combo you're a great card like love your artwork but you must be in the side deck good sir one copy of rise to full height you banish this card from your graveyard and your uh, your opponent cannot OTK you that turn one tier element's heartbeat which is the uh uh, almost Mystical Space Typhoon Twin Twister Cosmic Cyclone S card of the Tier Elements, which you, you target a spell or try your opponent controls. You shuffle it back into their deck. One Harpy's Feather Duster. You guys know what this does. Triple copies of uh, Forbidden Droplet. You also know what this does. Very powerful staple. Ugh, guess I didn't organize my side deck too, too well. My apologies. And uh, triple copies of uh, Light Imprisoning Mirror. This is for a voiceless voice. Uh, a very good floodgate. No one is paying attention to this card. No one's 
playing it, but but it's great against Voiceless Voice. Basically, they can't play the game because uh, they're all mostly light monsters. Did not play Voiceless Voice first, so for this tournament, this this did not matter. And three copies of uh, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood to win in time. I, I know time Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, again, that's just the way it is in Yu-Gi-Oh. So there we go. And that's it, guys. That is the uh, Egyptian uh, Ecti slash Egyptian God. Uh, oh, Egyptian, Egyptian God Chairman Horus. A second, alrighty. All right. That's it for the deck profile, guys. Again, uh, I apologize for any lack of like uh, not being very professional or anything like that. I'm not the best. I'm not the worst. Here is the deck, the main deck. There we go. But I tried the best I can. I love this deck. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. In the future, uh, I will try, again, I will try as much as I can to, like, in my power to, like, practice with this deck, make it better, and win more often in bigger tournaments. Uh, also, apologize if there's, like, a lack of, like, uh, direction on the camera or quality. Like I said, I'm not the best, I'm not the worst, I try my best. Uh, and that's it for the deck profile, guys. Uh, a little update, I will be uh, building new decks not including this one in Fluandries, that I will be showing off shortly in the uh, upcoming months. I might be, uh, and I, and again, due to my last deck profile in which I managed to get my invite to Nationals, I might either play one of those two new decks that I'm building or Fluandries for the, uh, for Nationals, because I'm def I, uh, I'm more likely than, than not, if everything goes right, I will be going to Nationals, but uh, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, play if you can, and enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! Take care.